So here's the thing I wanted to jump here's, yeah. yeah. here's the thing I wanted to jump to. Because this, this 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 kept making me matter and matter as the as the weekend went on. I mean for the for the twelve or so hours that we were that uh, somehow this Bogdan Bobby, you're 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 moving your mouth, but no words are coming out. That mute button. It was an angry weekend for John. Okay, so let me let's get into this here. Okay, <laughs> so after the Celtics miss out on Hayward, there's a ton of Danny anger, and we can get into that again whether we feel like it. But I think it's well established that he lost three premium free agents in two years, didn't get anything in return, and. Whether or not he could have saved them or not, there was a we, we definitely had some issues with yeah, the not consolidating picks, maybe trading a Rosier or seeing a few things ahead of time before you got to this thing. Because a lot of stuff walked out that door without anything. And Hayward was a real was a was a real kick in the ball. So um then all of a sudden Celtics Twitter explodes. We're gonna get bogged on because we're gonna get a mid-level and we're gonna get this and we're gonna sign and trade and it's gonna be amazing and we can pay him. And everybody seemed to get on board that this was a done deal just simply because the math could work. But mm -hmm. never at any point in time were the Celtics considered or reported by anybody who actually has sources as a real suitor uh, for, for Bogdanovich here. And then predictably Atlanta, who was the front runner for him all the time, signs him to an offer sheet, which Sacramento is certainly going to match, which means he's off the board. And so this was a fairly predictable outcome, but everybody got themselves in a lather and then started dunking on all of the Danny critics out there who were saying, <laughs> Danny blew it. And they're like, no, because we're going to have Bogdan and Tristan and Teague, and that's better than Cantor and Hayward and whatever. So Danny wins again. Give yeah. me a break. You know, like it would have been great I, if that happened. And it's the same thing when uh, Danny was able to pull the badness of uh, Kyrie into getting Kemba and then almost snuck out Al too and almost saved the day. But I don't think this was ever real. And no. it seems like it's not going to happen. So I think people just have to start coming to grips with this is the Celtics team you have. This is this is the team. Get used to it and then embrace it. And, and stop with these fantasy dream scenarios, but Bobby's going to tell us why one of them still exists. So the, the Bogdan <laughs> one... It is twisted mind. Sorry, was that enough? Or did I encapsulate all of it in my rant, Jimmy? Yeah, Yo, you fucking yes, targeted. The bo nailed it. <laughs> the, Bogdan, the Bogdan idea is a metaphor in some sense because it's oh, a good, possibility oh, a that, comes, that, that comes into play when the season starts, no matter who it is, Bogdan, yeah. any other different target out there that could possibly be an upgrade on the wing for the Celtics because they're going to have as much if this Hayward sign and trade goes through as 37 million in a trade exception to sign anyone to at any cost in a trade here. Uh, so Bogdan signing off for sheet here. If the Kings match and he goes back to Sacramento, which seems like it's going to happen here and Sacramento goes through the year, decides that they don't want him, decides they want to dump that contract, even if they do that before the year, Celtics make a ton of sense. And if all the Kings are getting back is a trade exception there, all that money comes right off the books for them, which, you know, if the Celtics are sending a future first round pick, maybe multiple future first round picks, I think it makes a ton of sense here. And as John said, if Bogdan lands on this current team, if someone else down the line lands on this current team at the wing, who's an upgrade there over Semi Ojale or whoever else, uh, you're looking at a better Celtics team for Wait, next year. If Sacramento signs him, he can't be traded until midseason, right? Yeah, that's why I say end of the season. But, okay, so, so really, but think again, a couple of he can be, first he can be at the all done though. What's that? What's that, Josue? You think a couple of first round picks will get it done though? You think that would be it? But it depends where Sacramento's at because they're just not a contending team right now. They're well, looking to unload guys. This no, is but all I mean, just being made up, anyways. This is all it's, just it's, thin it's, air. It's, it's make believe right. again. So you like, don't know. Oh, well, Danny, that's why. That's why I call it a John, metaphor. You can't, you can't criticize Ainge yet. You have to wait until the end of next season to see if he can still get bogged on. So. So everyone hold off from your criticism. Well, this is the point. Wait, wait, Especially with this kind of even, We don't even know if Danny's interest. You know, we know nothing exactly. other than a few people Somebody on Twitter. Just threw this name out here. A few people on Twitter just wished it into existence. Hey, we could get bogged on. And everyone's like, that's awesome. Oh, let's do it. The money <laughs> so works. What, what, let's go, Bogdan. Yeah. So what? What, what did we? What did we talk about when the Indiana it's and the Boston talked about in like a reporter way? No reporter. No, it was said. it was a name. It was an example. Bogdan could be. People, I don't were, know. Bought, people were printing jerseys. 
There was, yeah. there were sets. Oh, it starts, it I starts think. with that. Uh, it starts with that idea, Bob, and then like people take off with it, and all of a sudden he's being seen at Logan Airport. You know what I mean? Like it. it it's no, just, it's an it's idea. It's, it's an idea of a guy who would have fit into that salary slot. He, he I got to do the math off the top of my head here, but he comes in under $20 million a year, which is just at what the Celtics can use without hitting that luxury tax. So it's an idea. It's the best of probably any guy dream. that you'd be able to get for that. I, it's maybe somewhat of a dream, but it shows that the Celtics now have the flexibility that they were looking for by doing that Indiana trade. Uh, Ryan Bernadoni came out yesterday and said, there's a distinct possibility that the Celtics are happier coming out of this with just money to use rather than a Miles Turner and a Doug McDermott, as we talked about. 